Well, with my move getting ever closer, I went ahead and bought a trailer. It's in these boxes. I, I have to put it together. Well, there it is all unpacked. We gotta do some adult Legos and then this will look like a utility trailer. So I guess I'll get to looking at those their instructions and see how I can start putting this thing together so it'll actually do something instead of just sit there. Well, I've got the first section put together. It went together pretty easy. I'm actually pretty impressed with this kit so far just because all the bolts are the same size and the same length except for a few specific ones for a few specific parts, but everything that puts the frame together and the hinges on and everything, same bolts. So you literally need a 17 inch socket and a 17 inch wrench, or sorry, 17 inches, that's like massive. Uh, 17 millimeter socket and 17 millimeter wrench. And then, all of these bolts and nuts are the same. They're the same length and the same uh, same size. Except for these here. These are for the, um, the leaf springs. This is for the suspension and such. I do believe though that even though these are different lengths, they look like they're still 17 millimeter. So literally just one size of tool, which is that's cool. I wish uh, more manufacturers did that and you don't have to figure out which bolt goes with which and all that kind of stuff. But these instructions are, uh, they're all right. They're pretty straightforward. Uh, not all the parts are matched or not all the parts are labeled. So I have to kind of eyeball it, kind of like putting together some furniture sometimes. Um, and there's no like bill of materials at the beginning of the instructions. So that would be nice too. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move on to this part in the instructions and add all that fun stuff. Well, when I was talking about all the bolts and nuts being the same, uh, I spoke too soon. This set of bolts is different. It takes a 19 millimeter socket and wrench. And there's one on that side too. But I think these are the only ones that are a different size. But we'll see. I could be wrong again. All right, now with this front part done, start working on the second half of the trailer, the back half that attaches to that one, and this thing folds in half. I I'm kind of thinking about just bolting it all together, though, and putting one solid sheet of plywood for the deck so it doesn't fold, because I don't know that I'm going to use the folding functionality, and uh, maybe I'm wrong, but it just makes it seem like the trailer might be a little more flimsy if I don't. We'll see. Anyway, moving on. Alright, I've got the second half put together. Now I need to put the two halves together. And it looks like they just attach with these here um, hinges with a couple of bolts. So I'm going to get it all lined up and hooked together. Then I think we put on the axle and such. Alright, I've got the axle on and the the leaf springs on and all these brackets and stuff. I didn't bother putting the little caster wheels on because like I said, I don't think I'm going to be folding this. So a couple fewer steps makes the job a little bit easier. Uh, and then I haven't put the fenders on yet. I think I'm going to put the wheels on first, flip the trailer over and then put the fenders on just because I'm not working with the uh, best setup here. As you can see, I could go get my jack stands and actually like put this on jack stands and do it the right way but you know I'm just gonna do it this way so yeah you know, go ahead and uh, get those dust covers off I've got replacement dust covers uh, where are those uh -huh. I got these these are like a spring-loaded um, bearing grease deals my buddy he swears by this sort of design, so I'm, I got these, I'm going to put them on instead. You basically pump them up and uh, fill it with grease and it slowly presses on the grease while the, while the wheel's turning and helps keep them lubricated and helps keep them cool and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and yeah, knock that dust cover off, put the wheel on the axle, 
Then we're gonna uh, put those caps on and then we're gonna pump it up with some good grease. Well, it's next day. I got most of the trailer put together. I didn't film the rest of it just because it was getting dark and I'm on a little bit of a time crunch to get this all buttoned up so I can take it this weekend on my trip. I got the axle in. I got the uh, wheels on, the wheel bearings greased. Now, I did say that I got some of those spring-loaded uh, dust caps that are supposed to help with the grease. And I did, but if you notice, they're not on there. And that's because I bought the wrong size. I assumed that they were the same brand as the trailer. They were at Harbor Freight. I assumed they would fit this trailer, and I guess you know what they say about assuming. So I guess I got to return those. I put the original dust caps back on, filled them with grease, made sure I... I pumped them up real good and stuff too so they should all be good to go now I'm going to put the, uh, the hitch deal on the front and then I'm gonna wire up the whole thing and then I'm gonna hook it up to the truck and we're gonna go to Home Depot and pick up some lumber so I can build a deck and some sides for this all right I got the lights on and I got them all wired up and I got the wires running in the frame now, this kit comes with a lot of extra wire. As you can see, it's because normally this is a folding trailer, but I decided I'm not gonna worry about the whole folding bit. So I am either going to wrap that wire up and hide it under the, the deal here, or I'll cut it shorter and splice the end on so it's not so long. But, some things that I found out from putting this wiring on. The wiring harness is I mean, its pretty simple. It's four wires and then a grounding wire. The problem is these terminals here, uh, this is the grounding ground for the lights. There's one on each side. It has to get grounded to the frame. And you'd think that and it even looks like it's designed to do this. That size there, you could just screw it on there. But the problem is this is painted and this is painted. And so in order to get a continuous ground between everything, you gotta scrape through the paint. So what I've opted to do is to get some sheet metal screws and tap that into the frame. The kit does come with some little screws that look kind of like they're sheet metal screws, but they're pretty chintzy and they don't work very well. The other thing that I've done here, and I'll clip these tails, don't worry. I have some of this wire wrap stuff that I had for a different project that I had left over. Put that on here just to make it look a little nicer. Uh, and another thing to know about the electrical stuff is to attach the lights, the kit comes with wire nuts. Now, I really don't think that's the right way to do it. So I swapped them out for butt splices. They're, they're covered up by this, you can't see it, but I, I would suggest doing that if you can, but I think maybe the idea was to use as few tools as possible to put this thing together. Anyway, I've got to go to the hardware store, get some self-tapping screws, and I'm also going to get the uh, lumber to build the deck and the sides and I also need a, a new stinger for the F-150 because I cannot get the ball out of that one and that's a two inch ball and this takes a one and seven eighths oh that reminds me so another thing I've already talked about the the hub dust cover spring loaded deals they didn't fit Again, I bought this because I knew I had a two-inch ball. Uh, and so I bought this two-inch deal here to swap out for the other one. I made sure it was the right width and stuff. And I went to put it on, and these holes don't line up. The holes on this are farther apart than the holes on that one. 
I'm on a bit of a time crunch, like I said, so I'm not going to bother trying to drill holes to put this on here. I think eventually I'll do that. But again, like, this is at the same store, and it's the same width. You would think that it would fit this, but it sure doesn't. So that's something to know if you want to upgrade to 2-inch. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, it's different. So, to the hardware store I go. Well, the trailer's all finished. Put the deck on, built the sides. I didn't film that part because I was on a time crunch. As you can see, I'm loaded up. About to head on a 350 to 400 mile trip. And it should be a good test for our little trailer here. Overall, I think the sides came out pretty good. The deck, putting the deck on made it a whole lot more sturdy and we're ready to go to the uh, the new house and the new shop. First trip there. We'll see how this trailer does and uh, I'll update you along the way or at least when we get there. Well, we're about an hour into the trip. Everything seems to be good. Hubs aren't too hot. staying in the truck. We're literally in the middle of nowhere in Washington State. That's the Clyde Washington Schoolhouse. Um, as you can see, I don't think school's in session anymore. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep on going. There it is. Welcome to Montana. The trailer made it all in one piece. Uh, this is actually the end of the week. I took the uh, took all the stuff out of the trailer that I loaded up to bring here, and then I ended up loading a bunch of old flooring and stuff and other garbage from the house as I was working on it in here, and then took it to the dump. And I'm very impressed with this trailer. It was inexpensive, and it is holding up really well. After the trailer, and the lumber, I think it weighs about 350 pounds. It's still pretty easy to move around when it's empty. It's about 800 or $850 into it after, you know, paying the government for that little piece of metal you gotta stick on there and after paying for the lumber. So, yeah, uh, pretty impressed. We'll see how this lasts in the long run. I've only had it for a week, but so far, it is a whole lot better than I initially thought. Yeah, maybe I will make a follow-up video in a year or two or something and explain how it's lasting. But thanks for watching, and you should check out some of my other videos, uh, like over here. This one. Click it. You know you want to.